you want to try to restore, get it up, pour foundation, a new floor in it. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Let me just kind of walk you around and show you what we got. This garage was probably built back in 1920. And it has been in the ground for so long you can see that the, uh, the complete bottom all the way around the garage is completely rotted out. And the uh, height of the overhead door was under six foot. So in other words, unless you ducked, you're going to hit your head. But this is what we've got, and uh, so much for the outside, kind of gives you an idea what we got here. Anyway, let's go on the inside and show you what we did. Okay, you can see what we've done. We've put a, a ledger board from the beginning of the garage all the way down of course we had to break it because the garage is 30 feet long so uh, rather than going through the expense of getting a laminated beam we just used a 2 by 12 but you can see once we got it up we had the cinder block with uh, some 4 by 6s kind of hold it up into place so we got it up around two feet off of the ground and uh, then what we had to do is then when now we had to come in and this uh, so-called flooring concrete flooring which was probably put in in the I figure around the 30s well, the thing has sunk so far, and as you can see, the uh, the ground is higher than the inside of the floor. So anytime you've got the outside higher than the inside of anything, you're going to get water inside of it because what you've created is a swimming pool or a tadpole pool, pool or something. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is we broke out the edge of the concrete all the way around we have to go the whole the whole distance all the way around the garage and we're going to pour up a foundation two foot high a foot in the ground a foot above ground so it'll probably be around about two foot maybe a little more maybe a little less who knows <clears throat> And then we got to come back in and as you can see this is one of those this is one of these old barn built garages there's no studs so we had to put a few studs in on top of our ledger board and I'll show you what we did to get it up see we came in put our ledger board in then we come in and put all these are the same length two by fours it goes all the way up to the top plate all the way around and see over here the same thing and then we came in and kind of braced it up a little bit had to put a header up there but we're going to fix and get rid of that just didn't want this thing to fall in on us so there's a lot of things you've got to consider before you actually come in and get ready to pour your foundation. You want to make sure that your building is really braced real well. Anyway, we've got it up, we've got it stabilized. Got our four by sixes. See, we're tied in on the ledger beam. All the 4 by 6s are all tied in. And really all it's doing is just sitting here. 
it's just sitting on these things because we've got to move it around a little bit because some of these walls are a little in and we need to push them out. Then after we get through with that, as you can see we have a string line up there. I'm hoping you can see it okay. That we go, we come out 12 inches from the wall, go down to the other end, come out 12 inches from the wall, run our string line, come down to the center, we'll pull it tight so that we can get the, the wall straight. Now that's a little bit more than what most people will do, but since this is one I'm going to be using for years, I just want to make sure everything's straight. Well, that's about all we can talk about until the next time we come out here when we get our foundation, get ready to pour our foundation.